We checked in with Nicole a little bit earlier today. She's out on the road, so we're seeing some the start to some snowfall in the yeah, Spokane area. After about an hour of some light snowfall, but steady, it has start to not only pick up, but actually accumulate on some of the roads. Not quite an inch of snow on the ground just yet, but enough that our parking lot certainly looks white outside. So it will start to get pretty slick pretty quickly outside with that steady snowfall. So light morning snow, our top headline. Look for the same story heading into Sunday morning as well. There's more rain and snow chances come next week and near New Year's. So we'll start with a look at the roads outside. This is the Hamilton Street exit and the bridge looks a little bit, uh, a little bit like a wet sheen out there at the moment, but you can see the snowflakes falling in the headlights of the or in the streetlights uh, on the camera here. Kind of the same story, but a lot more intense over Snoqualmie Pass. So snow happening both in the mountains and this little band that's uh, over eastern Washington and now moving into North Idaho at the moment. So it has been snowing for about an hour and it looks like we're about halfway through that snowfall overall. So give it another hour or so for the Spokane area. Looks like it's going to be another two hours for Coeur d'Alene overall, but a decent amount of snowfall in just a couple hours might add up to an inch overall, but not expecting anything more than one inch of snow in most of our area valleys, but even that enough to create some slick roads, especially those that have been untreated or unplowed this morning. So that'll continue through about eight o'clock for the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene areas. And then into the afternoon, it just kind of migrates over the mountains in Idaho. So Lookout Pass will see steady snowfall pretty much throughout the day today, even though it's coming to an end for Spokane pretty shortly here. And even thinking between 6 and 7 a.m., we'll start to see the last of the snow already. But on our Mountain Pass forecast, about one to three inches of snow over Lookout Pass. Same story for Snoqualmie and Stevens. Not heavy enough that should uh, shut down the passes, but certainly enough that's going to slow anybody down traveling over the mountain passes for today. Look for either a chance of snow or rain over the Cascades and for Sherman Pass for tomorrow. As for the weekend ahead, kind of the same story on Sunday, looking at a chance for some light morning snowfall, probably less than an inch, but it certainly could stay over the mountain passes again. So in terms of the mountain passes, today is going to be a little slick. Tomorrow's a break and then Sunday we look again for more mountain pass snowfall. And then a big picture forecast is so certainly the weekend after Christmas. A lot of families flying yet again, probably just going home after a vacation here. On Saturday is going to be a big day, especially for those traveling through Denver or Minneapolis. But I do think it calms down a little bit for major airports on Sunday. But certainly a larger weather system starting to take place, take shape over the central and eastern parts of the United States. As for us, let's look ahead towards New Year's Day. There are some rain and snow chances back in the forecast Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, but with temperatures in the 40s in Spokane, probably leaning more towards rain than snow that time around.